Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, this video is going up on Tuesday, and you know what that means? That means I have my next week's picks for you. And in this case, that means I got week 12's picks for you. But of course, every week I recap how I've done and how I'm doing. So, I gotta say that week 11 was very good to me. In week 11, I was 10 and five. That was easy. Yeah, except it wasn't. It, it was this close to being like a lot worse than that. Uh, but, ended up 10 and five. And so that puts me at 97 and 68 on the year. I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> still not at 60%. I'm still trying to edge back to 60%. But because I had some devastating weeks where there were some, um, shall we call them, upsets. And again, this week, there were upsets again. Like the Bills losing for some reason to the Texans. I mean... I, I don't even have an explanation for stuff like that. So, But despite there being a couple of games like that, I did nail a couple of other games that some people might have not gotten right. For instance, Philadelphia beating the Saints. So, yeah, 10-5 and five week, edging back towards 60%. Um, the Buccaneers coming through for me on Monday night against the Giants. Now, I know, I know, you're out there saying, but it was the Buccaneers against the Giants. Well, yeah, what happened with the Buccaneers versus Washington? So, you know, um, I was just thankful that I got, you know, this is Thanksgiving week, and I was thankful that I got a 10-5 and five record. And speaking about Thanksgiving, the first games this week will be on... Thanksgiving. And where is my sheet? I got my sheet around here somewhere. There we go. I got my sheet with my picks right here. And Thanksgiving is November 25th. For those of you that don't know, don't go to work on November 25th. All right, maybe there's some of you that might have to. Although Target doesn't have to go to work. Is it Target or is it Walmart? I don't know. One of them said never again. But anyway, I digress. Thanksgiving, there is going to be three games, and the first of those will be the Bears visiting the Lions. And you know, I mean, the Bears season is pretty much over. Of course, so the Lions season was over in, after game two. But we've got the Bears visiting the Lions the Lions are like 0 9 and 1, something like that. The Bears last week barely lost to the Ravens, and um, Carrot Top came in and he was awesome. Dalton, he was he was well. All right, I, maybe I'm going a little too far saying he was awesome, but he was good. So, I, and now I I believe it's going to be Dalton again. I don't think they're going to put uh, Fields back out there. He's probably because it you know short turnaround, and Fields really every time he sees a new defense, he's fooled by it. Carrot Top is not fooled by it. So um, I think, and you know, and then the Lions, of course, you know, you've got. Um, uh, you got Goff is injured for the Lions, so they got some guy I never heard of at quarterback. So normally I would pick against the Bears and set up a no-lose situation like I had with the Ravens game last week, but no, no. We're still going to go with the Bears in that one. Let's get the Lions out of here. <laughs> no. So, yeah, take the Bears in that first game, and then you've got the... Cowboys are at home hosting the Raiders. And in this one, even though the Cowboys showed that they were uh, impotent against Kansas City offensively, they still played pretty well defensively. And I think that the Raiders are going into a tailspin. So I'm going to go with the Cowboys. Let's take the Cowboys in that second game to beat the Raiders. Yeah. And 
the final game of Thanksgiving will be some for some reason the Saints against the Bills. And the Saints are going to be home in this. But I'm even though the Bills lost to the Texans, I'm still going to go with the Bills in this one because the Saints really are this like sub mediocre team that just I don't even know. I don't even want to speculate what's going on with the Saints because who knows? I you know I don't think that uh, uh, Sean Payton knows even. So anyway, that brings us to the Sunday, November 28th games. Again, don't go to work on Sunday. No, I don't want to say that. There are some people that do have to work on Sunday. Uh, but the first game we're going to have there is the Jags are at home and they are hosting the Falcons. In this one, I'm going to go with the Falcons. Yeah, let's take the Falcons there. The Jags, I thought that they were starting to learn, you know, all the new players were starting to gel and, um, you know, Urban Meyer was learning how to coach at the uh, NFL level, but I, I don't really think that's happening, really. So um, let's go with the Falcons, even though they did get whitewashed by the Patriots last week. Um, the next one we've got, um, I am going to take... Texans at home over the J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. No. Um, yeah, let's go with the Texans in this one. Um, they, uh, I mean, they beat the Bills. I don't know what other kind of evidence you are going to need that they're going to beat the Jets. And the Jets lost to the Dolphins, who are not even good. So the next one we will have after that is... You've got the mentor against the mentee in the uh, Titans and Patriots game. The Patriots are playing some seriously good football. And uh, the Titans lost to another crappy team last week. So, was it the Titans that lost to the Texans? I don't know. I don't know. But the Bills lost to somebody they shouldn't have lost to, and so did the Titans. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, now... I am never again going to pick the Titans to beat a crappy team, but I'm also not going to pick the Titans to beat the Patriots. Let's go with the Patriots. Yeah, I mean, uh, Belichick now, you know, you've got um, Mac Jones. The dude is like, he looks like Tom Brady. Not a young Tom Brady. He looks like the Tom Brady. And, um, except that he is younger than Tom Brady, obviously. And Belichick, you know, I mean, that dude game plans for anything, anything, and he has his team prepared to beat teams. And when I said mentor, mentee, it's because uh, Vrabel used to play for Belichick and knows Belichick's tricks, but apparently he doesn't open that bag of tricks against bad teams. And he's not going to open it against the Patriots either because Belichick has a bigger bag. So, the next game we have on the docket is the Giants are at home, and they're hosting the Eagles. The Eagles are playing some seriously good football right now. Let's go with the Eagles in this one. I mean, I don't want to say that this is a lock, because every now and then the Giants get a hair up their butt and they play good, but I would take the Eagles in that game for sure. Now, the next one we have is a uh, an NFC North matchup. You have the Bengals at home against the Steelers. And I, even though the Steelers almost came back on the Chargers and scored 37 points last week, I'm still going to go with the Bengals. The Bengals are the home team here. I just don't... I just can't buy into the Steelers. No matter how many times they win and how many times they blow my pickup, I still can't I can't buy into them. They just they're missing something. And I mean people were talking about how they're missing this deep guys on defense, they're missing these guys on the offense. You're thinking, "Oh, the Chargers are going to roll them." But no, it didn't happen. But still, 
I just got to believe the Bengals. I'm going with the Bengals there. Now, here is one that's interesting. You have the Colts at home against the Buccaneers. Normally, I would have said take the Buccaneers in this one, but I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say let's take the Colts because the Colts are playing some crazy good football right now. On paper, I don't like them, but the way they're playing football now, those boys are going to they're going to beat the Buccaneers. I mean, I know the Buccaneers had an impressive win over the Giants on Monday night, but that was the Giants. All right, next one we have the um, Dolphins are at home against the Panthers. In this one, I am going to go with the Panthers. Yeah, let's take the Panthers. You've got Cam Newton. He's getting back into the swing of things. He didn't even look that bad last week. You know, all those weeks just sitting there, anybody could have had him. Nobody picked him up. The Panthers said, hey, why don't you come back and play for us again? And uh, I think now with another week and, you know, getting into the swing of things and learning his team, I think he's going to beat the Dolphins. I'll, I mean, I'll tell you that. So, uh, all right, let's move along, move along. You got a game in... Um, mile high and that's the Broncos and the Chargers and as you recall the Chargers beat the Steelers 41-37 last week and let's yeah let's go with them to continue that run I think that they're going to beat the Broncos even though it's in mile high even though there could be a mile high of snow that they have to play in I am going to take the Chargers in that one now here's another interesting matchup you have the 49ers at home against the Vikings. The 49ers playing good football lately. The Vikings playing the same football they've been playing all year long, which is the final score is going to be within three points, win or lose for us. And they just beat Green Bay. And again, they beat Green Bay by three points. They, and the Vikings have been ahead by seven points or more in every game they've played this year. So the formula for the Vikings is get out to a big lead in the first half, watch the other team slowly come back, maybe tie the game, and then it's decided late in the game or in overtime. But I'm still going to go with the Vikings here. I think the Vikings, this is the Vikings' chance to step up and say we are going to the playoffs to beat the 49ers and Garoppolo. If they can stop the run, if any team can stop the run, they can stop San Francisco because Garoppolo ain't going to beat them. So uh, that takes us to the next. You like that? You like that? All right, so the next one we've got is the Packers against the Rams. The Packers are at home, and I am going to take the Pack. Yeah, let's take the Packers over the Rams. I know the Rams have a high-powered offense, but no, we're not going to do that. Um, the uh, pa I think the Packers, and especially the Packers, get mad when they're coming off a loss, especially to a division opponent. They really don't like that. They get mad, and they come back, and they win. So, um, yeah, let's go with the Packers. <clears throat> Next game you got, another division game. You have the Ravens at home against Cleveland. I'm going to take the Ravens. The Ravens barely beat the Bears. I don't know if, um, if their man, their main quarterback, I forget his name. I'll probably put it across the screen because I can't think of it right now. Lamar Jackson, is it? Lamar Jackson? Yeah, there you go. Um, He's supposed to be back. They said he was just sick and not with COVID. So he was just out sick. And um, But they even with him out, they beat the Bears 16-13. And um, Cleveland, who knows if Baker Mayfield's going to play. He is seriously banged up. He's got a bad knee. He's got a bad back. He's got his shoulder being held together by duct tape. So I don't know. Um, but I'm, I'm, I wouldn't bet on Cleveland to beat the, um, the Ravens. 
And now the final game, Monday, November 29th. Do go to work on Monday, most people. Um, you got the Washington football team against the Seattle uh, Seahawks. And in this one, I'm going to surprise people. The Washington football team, actually the Washington football team is home in this one. I am going to go with Washington. Yes, Washington to beat Seattle at home in Washington. And so, those are my picks. How did you guys like them? What do you think? And leave a comment below. Tell me what picks that you differ with on and give me a thumbs up. And, uh, and it, hey, if you want to list all of your picks or you want to list a link to your specific um, page, I'll go watch your picks. I love watching other people's picks, especially since other people tend to be more condensed and quicker than mine. But, hey, you know, I like to elaborate a little bit on every game. So that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.